Hello. Hello. How's everybody doing? Hello. Views a little different today, huh? Yes. So I figured that since today's topic is about how to make your home more animal friendly, I figured we'd have a um, a little guest star today. So, so hi Ashley, and hey, she's gone. Why is she gone? Because there's food downstairs, and uh, you know how that goes. Food wins over just about everything. So, hello everyone. It's 12:30. That means that you and I have an appointment. <sighs> it's time to discuss it with Drake. So, welcome to episode number 101. Yes, 101, how to make your home more friendly. So before we get started, please keep in mind if you ever miss a live broadcast, all you have to do is go over to YouTube, type in Drake's Real Estate TV, click subscribe, and then you'll never miss a live episode. So say hello in the comments when you stop by. Like you, John, say hello. Anyways, let's get started. If you are a pet owner, and pet owners are the best, like me, right? You know the challenges of keeping a pet, specifically the challenges of keeping a house with a pet. And hello, Nadia. Pets can sometimes be destructive, believe it or not. They can even eat birds, right, Nadia? Oops. Anyways, um, even though animals are not directly destructive, you know, they can add a degree of wear and tear to the environment. And there are ways to make your home easier to take care of with a pet. Now I'm gonna give you a few suggestions for people who own both pets and homes, like this one. So, number one, keep things locked up. Some dogs will chew on anything, and oh my God, they do, they chew on anything. Even cats have been known to poke around and get into things that they shouldn't, so. Things like medications, cleaning products, and even foods that are completely safe for us can sometimes harm your pet. So make sure that your medications are put out of reach, um, even put child safety latches on cabinets that are low enough for a dog or a cat to figure out how to open it. Yes, they know how to open it. They watch you. And if your pet has access to the outdoors, make sure that the lawn equipment and fluids are tightly locked in, a, in the garage or in a storage shed. Let's talk about a pet door. So a pet door can give your furry best friend access to the outdoors. We all like that. When they get bored or when they're excited about something in the yard or if they just simply want to go out, they can take care of it themselves. Not only does this save the trouble of you letting them out or taking them out when they want to go, it also saves your door because many pets, especially dogs, are going to scratch at the door when they want to get out. And over time, this is going to damage your door. Use caution. If you live in an area, like a lot of us do, with other outdoor creatures, Raccoons, squirrels, small coyotes, small bears. You might want to secure this at night. Yes, it happens. Let's talk about your yard, okay? If you're gonna have a way for your pet to access the yard, then you better get the yard fully fenced. Not only will this protect your pet, but it will protect the neighborhood from your damage if your little buddy likes to go dig and flower in your neighbor's flower bed, because that's not gonna, it's not gonna be very neighborly. So. Fencing the yard will give your dog or cat, well, not really cats, but dogs, but cats. I don't care about cats. Anyways, it's gonna give them a safe place to play and get some exercise so they can sniff around, explore, relieve themselves, and chase the occasional bird or squirrel. And it's also gonna keep most other animals out. Most, but not all. Let's talk about pet-friendly floors. I get this a lot, that we need floors that are gonna be safe or just better, more, you know, just better for the pets. So most pet owners prefer floor without carpeting. I don't know why you don't want carpet. Carpet's disgusting. Anyways, hardwood, tile, vinyl, laminate flooring, they're all easy to clean up most of the time. Way better than carpet. They can be swept, they can be mopped, and accidents are not likely to, to leave a stain as they will with carpeting. So it's important to uh, with hard flooring uh, to keep your um, options to keep your dog's nails trimmed so that they don't scratch up the floor as they walk around. If you do up for carpeting, you need to vacuum often, okay? You probably should also have a deep clean on a regular basis to keep down on the dirt and possibly flea population. So 
You might compare carpet cleaning prices from professional cleaning companies to get the best deal. You might actually consider as a pet owner to be more economical to actually buy your own machine. In the past, I've rented Bissell and they were great. Anyways, let's talk about easy to clean furniture. So maybe you are not the sort of person who would allow your pets on the furniture. I don't know who that is, but many folks are. And it can be nice to snuggle with your four-legged baby on the couch while you're watching television. Um, if you have pets, consider getting furniture made with easy to clean fabric, okay? And getting a white couch is probably not the best idea. Anyways, let's talk about exercise and the pups. So having toys for your pets will keep them busy and hopefully prevent boredom. So if you keep your dog toys in one place, mine start in one place, and then they end up everywhere, yeah. This will at least let your dog know where to find them or when they want them. So cats also need a place to exercise their claws, such as a scratching post. If you don't have a scratching post, you know what the back of your couch looks like. So if you rub a little, if you rub a little, about that scratch post with a little bit of catnip, that's gonna be helpful to getting them to, to go there. So when you have a pet, making your home pet friendly will make your life easier. It will make cleaning easier and will lighten the amount of wear and tear put on your home and furnishings. So it'll also keep your pet happy and comfortable. And that's what life's about, is keeping the pets happy. So that's actually all I have for you today. I hope you found it uh, useful. Come back next week. I want to give a shout out to Realty Times today for all the information that they provided. And as always, please don't keep me a secret. Share this with people that you know. If there's a topic you want me to discuss in the future, just let me know. I'll get it on the calendar. I hope that you, yes, you, you, have a fantastic week. Please be kind to another. Don't forget to live, laugh, and love. And until we see each other again, when the next move matters, contact Drake for Homes. See you later. 101. Woo!